Hello to my channel Chinese Star Today we will bring you the following hot and exciting news. Wang Yibo's peacekeeping riot squad has unveiled the first layer of veil. Can the box office exceed 3 billion? The box office of Unfamiliar Life exceeded 1.1 billion, followed closely by The King of the Sky, which exceeded 800 million. To be able to achieve this record in just a few days has been the ceiling of the May Day film history in recent years. Storm Chaser was criticized for insulting IQ, but 1944 made people willingly become stupid. Recently, spy war dramas have been in the limelight, among which Storm Chaser and Harbin 1944 have become hot topics of discussion after dinner. Both shows bring together many A-list stars, and the cast is like a starry cast, which is eye-catching. However, despite the bright stars, the viewing experience they bring to the audience is completely different. In The Storm Chaser and Harbin 1944, except for the popular stars Yang Mi and Wang Yibo, the other actors are also extraordinary. However, as a special subject, spy dramas have extremely high requirements on actors' acting skills, requiring actors to have in-depth understanding and superb interpretation. In this regard, Wang Yibo's performance in The Storm Chaser is eye-catching. The character he played is plump and three-dimensional, which left a deep impression on the audience. In contrast, although Yang Mi's acting in Harbin 1944 has many highlights, it overall gives people the feeling of trying too hard, as if she wants to make up for the shortcomings of the plot through exaggerated performances. The reason why Wang Yibo's acting skills have received such high praise is closely related to his previous tempering in the movie Unknown. In that movie, he played a character with a complex personality that required him to switch between different emotional states in a short period of time. It is under such challenges that Wang Yibo's acting skills have been greatly improved. The role of Wei Ruolei he played in The Storm Chaser appears to be very comfortable in terms of emotional expression, character creation and detail processing, and he is fully capable of playing this complex and profound role. Of course, the performance of the actors is only part of the factor that affects the perception of the series, and the construction of the plot is also crucial. Harbin 1944 has obvious loopholes in the plot logic, which made the audience round while watching. For example, the intelligence handover scene in the play is too simple and rough to make it unbelievable that this is a life or death spy battle. What's even more outrageous is that the intelligence officers actually shouted secret message, secret message in the secret service section. This ridiculous plot design makes people laugh and cry. In addition, as the chief of the secret service section, Guan Zhu is supposed to be an extremely shrewd and capable figure, but in the play he frequently personally participates in secret operations, which undoubtedly greatly reduces the authenticity and tension of the plot. During the viewing process, it is difficult for the audience to be immersed in the plot. Instead, they will constantly question the rationality and logic of the plot. Compared with Harbin 1944, Storm Chaser is obviously much better in plot construction. This drama not only has a gripping storyline, but also allows the audience to feel the arduousness and complexity of our party's work in the exciting plot through delicate characterization and rich emotional expression. In the drama, the superb acting skills of powerful actors such as Wang Yang and Wang Zuki also add a lot to the drama. The characters they play have distinct images and different personalities, allowing the audience to quickly integrate into the plot and resonate with them. What's more worth mentioning is that Storm Chaser also handles the master-disciple relationship quite well. The master and apprentice in the play not only have a deep emotional foundation, but also gradually grow and transform while experiencing the test of life and death together. This delicate portrayal of character relationships allows the audience to feel the complexity and diversity of human nature while following the drama. At the same time, the Storm Chaser also depicts Wei Rulei's ideological awakening process in a very delicate and nuanced way, allowing the audience to deeply understand this character's journey from ignorance to firm belief. In addition to the plot and actor performance, Storm Chaser also reflects its profound historical heritage and professionalism in character creation and plot design. Many characters in the play can find prototypes in history, which allows the audience to more truly feel the changes in heroes of the era during the viewing process. At the same time, the setting of Storm Chaser with a financial background is also refreshing. The financial elements in the play not only enrich the plot content, but also allow the audience to learn more knowledge and information about finance while following the play. This kind of professionalism and rigor allows the audience to have higher recognition and evaluation of the quality of the series. In the process of watching Storm Chaser, the audience will unconsciously be impressed by the wisdom and courage of the characters in the play. All the characters in this drama are extremely smart and witty, 
and the audience can't help but lament that their IQs had been crushed while following the drama. Especially when the plot reaches its climax, the audience will be shocked and moved by the wisdom and courage of the characters in the play. This kind of look and experience is incomparable to Harvin 1944. We sincerely invite you to click the follow button to make it more convenient for you to receive the wonderful articles we prepare in the future, and to allow you to swim in the ocean of reading. Some of the material in this article comes from the internet. If there is any infringement, please contact us to delete it. The most popular one is Peacekeeping Riot Squad starring Wang Jingguo and Wang Yibo. This movie was completed three years ago, and fans have been waiting for the feature film for a long time. Both the production team and the cast are very impressive, and the number of people who want to see it has reached a new high. It is very likely that it will once again break the May Day box office record in film history. Why does this film keep so many viewers waiting for it? This time, let's take a closer look and see if Peacekeepers is worth watching. From the name, it's easy to tell that Peacekeepers is a blockbuster with a main theme. Of course, the filming period was also the time when the main theme emerged. Directed by director Lee Da Chao, who has participated in the creation of the founding of the army, Heroes of Fire, Chinese Captain, Chinese Doctor and so on. Producer Liu Weiqi Ang has directed the Infernal Affairs series, and also collaborated with Lee Da Chao on several main themes. The old partners are working together again, and they have a good understanding. Peacekeeping Riot Squad tells the story of peacekeeping police officers who shoulder the sacred mission of traveling thousands of miles to foreign countries, constantly brushing against death in war-torn mission areas, and contributing to the peace of the region. The protagonist group consists of Riot Squad leader Yu Weidong, played by Wang Jingyu, sniper Yang Shen, played by Wang Yibo, and liaison officer Ding Wei, played by Zhuang Chuxi. These people are in war zones and face various dangers every day there's no forward motion or fancy special effects, it's just a gunfight from the get-go. The unpretentious shots are so realistic that people are instantly immersed in the scene, and the forced zoom and moves allow the audience to jump directly into the war zone. When he saw a living person with his own eyes, a bloody streak appeared on his body as if time and space had stopped for a moment, and the bullet pierced his intestines and caused a disembowelment, leaving the man without breath for a second. From chaos to indiscriminate attacks, the originally peaceful and simple town became a river of blood, and these gangsters were so arrogant that they laughed. What these police have to do every day is to head on prevent terrorist attacks, as well as armed riots, gang fights, etc. All violations of peace are the tasks of peacekeeping police. Although the cast looks average, in terms of casting, the compatibility between the actors and the characters is surprisingly high. Wang Jingbai was the male protagonist of the entire movie. As soon as he stood in the camera, he looked like a god in uniform. I have to say that he came to the entertainment industry to serve as a soldier. Through the curves of his solidly dressed clothes, I can even see his strong arms. Both his lines and acting skills are very natural. He is worthy of being a soldier who comes to domestic entertainment. Wang Jingai was simply arrogant in this track. As the captain of the team, he is well strategized and experienced, and he must always pay attention to protecting the personal safety of his teammates. Even if he is injured, the first thing he pays attention to is still the people. The most important thing is that Wang Jingai does not pretend. In the trailer, he is very relaxed, not one showing off his expression or showing off. Instead, he looks like an old policeman who has served in the army. I have to say that Wang Yibo's acting skills have indeed improved visibly in the past two years, but Peacekeeping Riot Squad was a work made three years ago. Compared with Wang Jingai's relaxation, Wang Yibo's tightness is too obvious. The previous May Day King of the Sky controlled the audience, and this time Peacekeepers is scheduled to be the box office champion, but Wang Yibo's acting skills may not be a fair comparison. But what I want to say is that the styles of Wang Yibo and Wang Jingyu coincide with each other. They all have the passion of big boys and the yearning for tough guy roles. Because they like it, they are not particularly inconsistent when performing. Although Wang Yibo always has a straight face, he forms a clever contrast with Wang Jingyu's performance in the play. Thank you for watching, please remember to like and subscribe to our support channel.